City Square of Abilene helps at-risk teens within the community and provides them with vital resources such as meals, tutoring, and even counseling. Recently, they ran into transportation issues, but after teaming up with United Way of Abilene, those concerns are a thing of the past. KRBC's Jordan McMullen has the details. Abilene nonprofit City Square received a new van last week right before an important trip. We were getting ready to do our first college tour in Houston and we had a big crowd because it was for our seniors and juniors. We was blessed to be able to get the van that week before that weekend before our college tour. Made possible with the help of United Way of Abilene. And, and we, we stepped up and said, yeah, we, we would love to help you guys with, with your transportation needs. City Square has one van already, but felt they needed something else to accommodate their growing organization. We, we provide grants to other nonprofits so that they can do the work that they're, that they're already doing because they, they are the experts, but we're, we're the supporting backbone that, that helps them do what they do best. Stephanie is excited for many aspects of what this van will be able to do, but one thing that stands out is pickup and drop off efficiency. We leave before nine and I try to get the kids home since it's in the middle of the school I try to get the kids home before 9 p.m. and so instead of making several routes here and picking up it's all everybody loads up um, however honest, some have mixed emotions I love I love to play basketball and I just like short as my time for me. so like when she would take people were you like oh I'll stay yes and I can play more yes basketball. But ultimately, Stephanie and the rest of the City Square team are elated knowing their students will have reliable and spacious transportation. And that's just one less thing that the kids, our teens, have to worry about. That's something that they shouldn't have to worry about. Reporting in Abilene, Jordan McMullen for KRBC, Abilene's Local News.